Hello everyone, welcome to Business Tips. My name is Dr. Bunko, your business doctor. And on today's video, I'll be talking about the modifications and changes that the Finance Law 2018 brought to the General Tax Code. And if you're new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button right now because I'll be bringing you a lot of interesting videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Every year in December, lawmakers come together to vote the new finance law for the next year. And this law is always taken to the president, signed, and then it comes into effect as from 1st of January every year. In 2018, the finance law brought a lot of changes to the general tax code. 63 articles were actually modified in the 2018 finance law. And that's what we are going to be looking at in this video. On each episode, I will take one or two, and then we are going to discuss that in details, okay? Because if you are an entrepreneur or a businessman in Cameroon, doing business here, you must know these changes so that the tax people will not come to disturb you all the time, okay? So don't go anywhere. Grab that cup of coffee, if you have one. Then let's talk business. <laughs> The first article of the General Tax Code to be modified by the 2018 Finance Law is Article 7 or Section 7. And Section 7 falls under Company Tax on the General Tax Code. And this section generally talks about expenses that qualify as deductible expenses for the purposes of calculating your profit chargeable to corporation tax or your taxable profit. Article 7C talks about losses incurred on fixed and realizable assets during the year that should be deducted from your profit in order to arrive at your taxable profit. And the finance law actually brought some modifications to this article. That's the Article 7C. It actually brought an addition to the article. Now, let's look at it. Let's look at what the finance law had to say about this article. The following shall be deductible from profit. That's Article 7, subsection C. Losses on items of fixed or realizable assets, except, please take note of this word, a lot of people are going to fall, you know, in the hands of the tax people. Except losses resulting from misappropriation by a partner or a manager of the enterprise or where misappropriation is as a result of negligence of the parts of managers. The rest shall remain unchanged. So as you can see, they actually brought an addition to Article C7 and the rest of that article remains unchanged. Now, you might want to ask, what does this misappropriation really mean? Now, let's look at what misappropriation means. Asset misappropriation fraud happens when people who are entrusted to manage the assets of an organization steal from it. Asset misappropriation fraud involves third parties or employees of an organization who abuse their position to steal from it through fraudulent activity. It can also be known as insider fraud. Now, simply put, misappropriation is some kind of an insider fraud, okay? That is usually, you know, perpetrated by the managers of the company. That's those that have been entrusted to manage the assets of that company. How does this impact company tax? Let me give this little example. Let's say you overstate the losses made by the disposal of the company's assets. And this will go a long way to reduce the taxable profit and, of course, reduce the tax that you're going to be liable to pay. And the taxman is keen to actually ensure that that doesn't happen because they want you to be within the law, that's legally, to pay what you have to pay to the state. So they want to dig right down to ensure that you didn't misappropriate or there was no insider fraud or anything like that that happened. So you might not want to do this because this year, tax people will be looking at this and they can slam you a lot of penalties if they find out that you had to overstate the losses because of some kind of insider dealing or misappropriation or uh, negligence due to, um, due to that. That was the first episode. Many more episodes will be coming. I don't want to go away without hitting the subscribe button and also the notification button because each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Let's say good night.